Hey Dragon fam, it's Thread and Brass. So I wanted to go over this event with you guys real quick. Um, so as long as you are level um, 10 or above, you should have this cool little island over here. As you can see, this is our event island. Um, you can also um, enter the island through this right here. This week, um, our event is a little different. We do some islands. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click in and go to the event real quick. I'm going to try to explain it out to you just a little bit. So um, each one of these islands, we have to be as a team. And as you can see right here, it shows the HP of the island. So as each of us go in and attack, we'll bring this number down. The faster we clear this out, the higher the points the team gets. And then we move to the next one. Um, and it goes all the way up. I will show you. It's, it's quite a large map. Uh, we go to this island. And you can kind of see the marks on your screen here. It moves down. Um, and then we go around. And eventually, by the end of the event, we're going to end up at this big old castle right in the middle that we have to unlock and fight. So, um, if we click on the current island that you'll notice that we have to fight still, we're going to pick a basic attack. Now, to get the most points out of your attack, you want to make sure that when you select one of your dragons, we're going to use this guy, um, over here on the right, you'll notice that you can add different things to them. So, we're going to go through and see what we got here. If you have an inner fire, add an inner fire, you get more points for each battle when you run inner fire. So we're going to run this battle real fast. I'm not going to invite anybody since we're on here right now um, doing a quick recording. So we'll go through and you're going to take your dragon, defeat the level. Um, obviously, we do have lower levels, so some of these islands um, are going to be a little harder for you, especially as we get to the further islands. The further we go, the harder they get. Um, you'll notice that when you destroy things like boats and bridges and other items like that, some of the totems on the side, you will get treasure chests, you will get speed ups, you will get um, different abilities and things like that. See, we just got a speed up on our screen now. And these are all things that you can use throughout. And when you get the treasure chest, you can use the chest and open them in your armory, which I will show you here in a minute for anybody that's new and is not familiar with our events. All right, so finish this out real quick. And then we'll show the points breakdown real quick for you guys so you know what's going on. So we had a successful attack. You'll notice that we used one dragon, so we got five flames. This is going to be important when we come when it comes to some of your attacks later on. All right, so now we have our battle results. And you'll notice over here that I got my five flames and I used an inner fire. It notes that it's used on here. So if you hit info for your points one, it'll give you a base points. If you won, you get more, obviously. Um, if you lose, you don't really get anything. And then um, we have defense multipliers. We have the chain difficulty. And then if you use an inner fire, you get additional points. So a basic attack that was supposed to be 104 points ended up giving me 240. So this way you can, um, if you have the inner fires, you can use them to get more points. And this will also help build up... Um, on your personal ranks and stuff like that. So we're going to click over here to prizes and ranks. If you'll notice there's points achievements. Everybody has this. This is based individually on you. So when you get 70 points, you get to claim something. So we'll claim that and it'll go away. It'll show checked and this is your progress to the end. As you go through and you earn points by um, defeating different bases, um, you will gain more and more and more. Um, and it goes through, and the list, I mean, it, we can go pretty far. But if you're a newer newer member, you'll probably stick to some of the lower ones. Now, you notice for that one attack, we got 240 points. So that alone almost put us up to 300 points required. Um, so you want to take that into consideration as how you use your points. Now, remember when we were blowing stuff up and there was a little chest, and I said you can get it in the armory? Well, you can come over here to your armory, click that. And you're going to scroll over, and this is where all your chests are going to be that you earn in and out of the events. You can click open one, and then if you have more than 10, it'll allow you to open 10, and you get a prize. And you can use these for defense, for adding to your dragons as you play. Sometimes you'll get um, energy packs. If you want to know what each one carries, you can click the little eye, and it will bring up a list of everything that you can get out of each chest. So you can get eggs, you can get inner fires, you can get sigils. Um, you can get speed ups, you can get um, dragon attack, HP, uh, mystic fragments, you can get a lot of different things out of them.
and it can be very, very uh, beneficial. Now, a lot of times in the group, you will see me tell everybody, you need to go do your event quests. Well, when you brought up the screen here, you got your battle, your prizes, the seasons, and your quests. If you click on quests down here at the bottom, it'll tell you what your quest is today, and everybody's will be different, variant on your level. So it says win three battles, and it gives you about 24 hours to complete this. Once you've completed it, you can come over here and you'll be able to click claim. I've already claimed it, uh, so I got the prize for today. In five hours, it'll give me a new quest. I come in, do that, and I'll get the next one. And as long as you keep doing them every day, you will get all of these prizes for you. Um, and then when you submit those, we have team contributions. You'll see our chess level currently is a level two. Um, and so if we click on team contributions, you'll see everybody has the chance to put it in. And then I think there should be a way that I am able to look at the different chests. Here we go. So team levels. Um, anybody that contributes to the team chest will get all of these prizes that are listed down here. So the more we get in, the more we get. So and you'll see we can go up to a level seven. Um, and this is how many we have to have 165 in. Um, I'm not sure we have enough people that are of level to hit that. But you can keep track of our chess level in the group. So when you play, it puts points into our team chest. And then at the end of the game, if you've put any points in, you win the chest that is at that chest level. So it's more things that you can use for your base, for your dragons, and for the next event. Um, I think I've covered just about everything. If you have any questions, please let us know in the group. Um, all of the um, officers in the group would be happy to help you. If you need food for your dragons, if you need lumber for something, please, please, please let us know. We'd love to help you out and get things taken care of. Um, I hope everybody has a good day and happy battling.